Peace and blessings, Gemini. Welcome back to another See Your Soul 3 Revolution with me, Lee. This is going to be a general message for the sun and star sign of Gemini. Gems of my eye, let's see what we got going on for you, shall we? Okay, Spirit said start with the Tao for Gemini, so that's what I'm doing. Gemini spirit, show me. Okay. What's Gemini doing about it? Wow. Gemini. Well, you have opposition, the well, decrease and retreat. So when opposition popped out, I asked what you're going to do about it. And decrease and retreat popped out. Virgo had a similar read. Um, the energy was different. Some of the cards were the same, but in different positions. But it's like the same thing. It is... Um, it's almost like saying for you, Gemini, um, you've come to realize something. There's, um, opposite viewpoints, personal differences, communicate, communication gaps, disharmony, misunderstandings, estrangement, like, okay, that's too much work. That's way too much. So into the well you went, right? You sought truth, wisdom, insight, intuitive knowing, return to the source, Letting return to the source and getting to the bottom of things, right? You dove deep into yourself and also you moved away from something external to yourself that was too much. How do you like, um, what are you doing about that? Now that that's done and all, it, it completed and like, oh, you are decreasing, you're just declining, you're cutting back, um, you're letting go. Um, making a sacrifice in a different way, like really letting go, right? Like, no. Um, you may have had to downsize in your home, like your house or apartment, and but you're very resourceful, and the sacrifice that you made is um, selflessly, well, for, you know, what the reason that you made it, which was selfless, um, you're getting dharma for that. I don't know if you knew that, but I'm here to tell you that. Even though you didn't even expect it or think that way. Right, okay. And then you are retreating into the decrease. So it's like you are retreating back into the quiet of where you're residing, right? Energetically, you are like beaming, so vibrant and up there right but you kind of stay in the cut something like that you did something and now you're like whoo it's like that it's like oh okay let me fix that fixed it now it's like oh like you're popping back in right something like that what else do we have okay Yeah, you have before completion. So you were uncertain. You had doubt, hesitation. This was in the past. You had a loss of faith. Um, 
like walking on eggshells, but also walking on this ice, unstable conditions to be extra cautious, discord, right? Like it took deep contemplation to figure out and your happiness was just too important, which is the joyous. 58, happiness, delight, it's like interaction, it's open communication, it's um, goodwill, friendly persuasion, self-expression, dragonflies might be of significance to lilies may as well, frogs, ants, clouds. I'm hearing lily. Lily as a name, not with a Y. L L L I L L I or L I don't know something like that. Then you have twenty-seven, the corners of the mouth, health, well-being, nourishment, providing for others, creating balance, nurturing the body, mind, and spirit. Yes, Gemini. Yes. Bring it in, baby. Bring it in. Yes. Peace, harmony, balance, perfection, equipoise, equipoise, a sense of well-being, favorable conditions, expansion. Yeah. Well, we can do a lot when we're in peace. That's the thing. And this is number 11, too. So, Gemini, what I also see with this... Um, balance in yourself in a new way. Not that you weren't before, but now you are more in it because you added a way or two because of like something that you learned. Yeah. That's what I got for you, gems of my eye. All right. Anything else, Spirit, that Gemini needs to know? I'm hearing business, finance, career. Okay. Okay, some of you had some obstacles at work or business, finance, career. You were not really happy. There was uh, unexpected obstructions, uh, frustration, um, hard difficulties, uh, struggle, discouragement. You just didn't really, maybe you felt, some of you felt like you were drowning. I don't know. Um but deliverance came, or it will, and you're going to like release it, a, a fresh approach, liberation from any obstructions or obstacles. An obstacle can be an obstruction, right? Finding a solution, exhilaration, like that. Oh, something's going to happen that, or in career, business, or, or something has happened. It's going to like blow your mind open. It's going to seem like it really, it's coming, overcoming something. And because of the overcome of that, and you're not stopping, but you let go, you are actually getting something very good coming in on business. So it's like after the deliverance, after the obstacles, and the deliverance is splitting apart, which is impermanence, the collapse deterioration, separation, let go, surrender, eliminate the old death, like death to something that just doesn't serve, right? You do that, but, and then um, you were granted grace, too, and with the feather, there's like a little feather there, too, and all the dark, it's like an angel feather, right? White. Uh, then the following, right? So you, after that happens in business, loyalty, adaptability, cooperation, trust, reliability, sensitivity to others, service, receiving guidance. It's like that. However that resonates for you in business, finance, career, Gemini. That's what I got for that. Let's see what we got for love. Oh, Spirit said no. Do self and then love. Self for Gemini, Spirit. Self for Gemini. Overall energy is like youthful folly, impulsiveness, immaturity, bluffing, ignorance, learning, impatience, reckless behavior. But then you jump out with taming. So that was the overall energy. So this is like what the read was about, is about, in this way, for self, Gemini. The taming of the power of the great. 
self-discipline, concentration, strengthen your character from within, self-awareness, realizing potential. Aww. And then 50. Well, yeah, that makes sense. The stability. You double down on yourself. And you made the right changes, too. And we also have the cauldron, 50, five are changes. Inner alchemy, mastery, spiritual renewal, consecrate, contain rejuvenation, contain rejuvenation, discerning wisdom. Yes, Gemini, yes. That's so great. That's what you did for yourself. All right, let's jump into... Singles. Gemini singles. Okay, so the overall energy is discipline, or you had discipline in the past, right? And then from like them splitting apart came out again. So for singles, um, you need to exert authority, define, it's time to take the bull by the horns, create a strategy, mobilize forces, because like, it single something about splitting apart, the impermanence, collapse, deterioration, separation, let go, surrender, eliminate the old death. What is this? Singles? And then it's retreat, a timely departure, letting go, withdrawal, reevaluation, retirement, don't hesitate to walk away. This is singles. Why is it like that, Spirit? Spirit wants you to move forward. Why is it like that? Because Cancer is here, the chariot, which is love, control, victory, um, progress, determination, and career money man money management and finance it's a yes card for me it's a throat chakra oh shit this is beautiful singles like you have just transformed yourself into such a way where you are disciplined all these things that i said that is you um you've realized oh uh, with through the dark, there's the light, but it's something about how you are, um, how you, your laid back approach to life. It's something like that. And, um, but you're able to, hold on, what? Verbally express and communicate in such a way that you are like, um, you're very evolved, and this is beautiful. You make sense, Gemini. You are that. You're that Mercury, right? Yeah, you're like the house of communication too. But um, you're a very evolved uh, Gemini, and um, highly, highly intelligent and knowledgeable um, being, like gems. Seriously, this is some shit. You've learned how to move through, you've learned, you've been through so much and you've learned how to move through so much that like you're at such a high level that like it's nothing to just, oh, okay, right, wherever that falls. You just always seem to like stay. The, you stay the same you don't change it's awesome but you get more and more evolved right you're already high um, because you choose to dive deep follow your intuition make sense of what your third eye yeah that's what I got for you Gemini singles. Okay. Four. You're just on such a high level, Gemini singles, 
that like you are able to communicate a lot in a little um, in every aspect of your life and so the humans that you are coming across um, are going to be of higher quality and consciousness always so it's really your pick of the litter and you're you will be asking yourself oh well it's it's really going to be a matter of if your personality um, if they clash with yours, right? Because not everyone is as awesome as a Gemini. I mean, people can be awesome and have higher consciousness, but let's face it. Okay, so that's what I got for you, Gemini Singles, yeah. So good for you in all areas. That's like love, friends, family, um, situationships, business, finance, career. It's always social. All right, and that's what I got for you singles. Thank you. Okay, for Gemini's uh, casual dating and hookups, contemplation, gaining overview. Oh, some of you are, okay, what else? Oh, so some of you are completing things. You're figuring out how you want um, a companion, right? Because you have contemplation, which is gaining overview, detached, observation, increased understanding, solitude, integration through reflection. Then we have companionship, friendliness, mutual respect, shared goals, interdependence, agreement, strengthening bonds. So some of you might be coming out or letting someone in. Like you might be, if you are a natural introvert, maybe you're coming out more. If you're a natural extrovert, maybe you're letting someone in. Something like that. That's how I was getting at this. I mean, it could be vice versa too in all the other ways, but I'm just saying. Um, you're adding someone to some parts of what you're doing. You're making room, not a lot, but you're making room for someone. To, yeah. They bring you happiness, this person, delight, interaction, open communicator, good communicator, goodwill, friendly persuasion, and self-expression, yeah, and this person um, is your peace, or you're their peace, or you will be. Harmony, balance, perfection, sense of well-being, favorable conditions, expansion, it's also water, great. The great power, strength of character, yeah, you're meeting your match, if that's what you... Yeah, you, you'll figure it out, Gemini's casual dating and hookups. And if you just never thought, well, now you have, right? Don't be blind to what's right in front of you. And that goes always, every way, all days. <laughs> okay. Now this is for Geminis that are in love and um, established connections, long-term established connections. Aw, great power, strength of character, authority, dignity, influence, self-confidence, leadership, peak condition, potency. You're happy where you are, Geminis that are in established connections in love. Or seriously involved with someone, right? Established connection. So um, you have great power, strength of character, authority, dignity, influence, self-confidence, leadership, peak condition, and potency. Treading. Conduct, self-awareness, proceed with caution and sensitivity, correct behavior, act responsibly. Right? Well, that makes sense because if you're like that, you want someone like that. So what you're saying is that um, you both um, have in each other what you have in yourself. Right? And the differences that you do share are actually strengths for each of you like that and together and combined the joyous happiness delight interaction open communication goodwill friendly persuasion self-expression so you found you met your match 
And then the overall, with you know, Gemini's in love and established connections, is development, gradual progress, continuity, slowly but surely, adaptability, a time-honored approach. Yes. This is um, when two healed and still healing humans come together in a healthy relation, you know, healthy partnership. That, yeah takes hard work, dedication, but that's what that looks like. Oh, Gemini. That looks good. All right. And that's what I got for you guys. An overall message for every Gemini. Revolution 49, which is transformation. A radical change. Give up the old to make way for the new. A quantum leap. But then it's also saying on the other side of it, decrease. So maybe it, you, maybe it's something more balanced. Maybe it's not quite a revolution, but maybe it's not quite a decrease. A decrease is decline, cutting back, frugality, frugality, con contraction, letting go, less is more, resourcefulness, a sacrifice. And then we have revolution, transformation, radical change, give up the old to make way for new, a quantum leap. Maybe it's also saying you're... Um, juggling or balancing between two things. You gotta let go of the old for the new to be. Right? Oh, what the heck? Okay. And that's what I got for you, gems of my eye. I hope that you like this. Hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe. But mostly let me know if it resonates, please. And thank you. And also let me know if you like the way that I read. Bye, guys. See ya later.